CageMinds.com. We got Brian LaBamba Mendoza still undefeated and a Kansas City champion, right? What was that belt you won? Yeah, it was a Kansas State title. Uh, this is the first time that there was boxing in that city, and they just decided to make it a title fight, you know, to make it interesting for the fans. And uh, went out there and brought it home to New Mexico. So, how big of a camp did you have heading into that fight? Uh, I had a full camp, I think four weeks, something like that. It was a, you know, for four rounds, it was a good camp. Four rounds, split decision. For those of us that haven't seen the fight, describe it how it went uh, went down in reality compared to the yeah. judges' uh, vision. Um, well, I dropped him three times, but the ref only counted me with uh, one knockdown. And then uh, the guy had a heart, I'll give him that. He just kept coming at me throwing punches, and I don't know if that swayed the judges, but I felt I was blocking and landing the cleaner shots. And uh, even with that knockdown, somehow in the four rounds, they gave me a split decision, or me the split decision. One of the judges saw it for him, but. Uh, that's, that's just the way it works. But I came out the win, so I'm happy about that. So how is this harsh in your confidence and just judges in general now? Uh, you know, from the beginning, I've learned since amateurs, you know, always go for the knockout. You know, don't rush things, but if you can take it out of the judges' hands, then do so. Yeah. And then, what kind of shape are you in coming out of this fight? Because you're planning, what's this going to be? Two weeks in between fights? Really? A weekend off? Yeah. I'm actually in great shape because of that. I didn't take time off. I didn't get fat or anything like that. So, uh, right back in the gym, I just took Sunday off to relax. I'm back at it, so I'm in great shape for this. 7-0, and been doing some four-rounders. When are we going to see you jump that up to the six-round fights? Uh, I think after these, we just didn't want to jump up in these, these two weeks differences. But, um, I think after this, we're going to be jumping up to six. So that would be eight fights. What do you credit being able to stay active? That's something that a lot of boxers and a lot of just fighters in general in combat sports dream for, but you've been able to maintain that and do that over these first couple of years. It's uh, thanks to my manager, Cameron Duncan. He opens a lot of doors for me. And of course, uh, my trainer, Fidel Maldonado Sr., uh, he knows a lot of people. So him and Cameron have been working great together. And now uh, my promotional company, Empire Boxing, they're helping out a huge amount too, getting me in fights, sending me out to Virginia. Uh, I know everyone in Detroit, I'm hearing. Uh, you know, everywhere, they're just trying to keep me busy with that record. So then what's that like also for you? Because a lot of these boxes out here in New Mexico, it's feast or famine in New Mexico. And you, you're like you said, you're gaining this exposure nationwide. I love it because I've never wanted to just be a hometown fighter, you know, just, uh, just, just hometown. I want to be the hometown fighter, but I want to go out. I love traveling for fights. It's always fun. I love the atmosphere and the environment in each and every state. Uh, so it's just, it fits me. I love traveling, so I'm out here fighting for different kinds of work, more exposure. Love of traveling. Did you get to experience any of Kansas City then with the rush in between fights and everything? No. Uh, that's the kind of thing about boxing. You get to travel a lot, but you don't get to experience much. But I just get to deal with you know all the, the people out there and everything, but you don't get to do much sightseeing after that. We know everyone in boxing concentrates a lot on those records. You could be coming up on 8-0 this week, and how much does that sound that you think about in your mind keeping that record, or is it just a fight-by-fight -fight mentality? It's fight-by-fight. Fight. I can't be thinking, oh, I want to get to 40-0, because I imagine the pressure of that building up. So you take it one fight at a time, one day at a time, and just keep building up. You can't tell someone's trying to knock the gym down in the yeah. background. Wow. That's a speed bag. <laughs> Getting a title. How, at this point, what was that like for you? You said it was their first boxing event, so it was a special title, but still, getting in that kind of a championship atmosphere and match this early again in your career. It felt great. I've always wanted a, that type of belt. Uh, I look forward to in the future getting bigger and better belts, but it was great. I loved fighting out there in Kansas. That was a great title to win for me. It was just fun. But, um, it doesn't put any extra pressure on the fight because, I, like I said, I just focus fight by fight, you know, each win at a time. Um, so I try not to think about titles, pressure, who wants me to win, who wants me to lose. I just go out there and just have fun, do what I have to do. We've had the travel recently. How nice is it going to be heading up to Santa Fe, fighting an hour and away from home this time? It's convenient. <laughs> it's it's fun, but like I said, I love to travel. But I, coming home every once in a while is fun, and I get to fight in front of New Mexico again, so that's always great. And then what's that like, the fanfare, getting the fan base, and you get to get them excited because they're going to be right here, and you're able to, you know, have that cheering section. Uh, it's great. I love coming back home to, like I said, coming back home to New Mexico. And, uh, I've been training hard. That's why we came right back into camp, so I could put on a great show for everyone. 
because uh, I don't want to come out here and just put on some boring boxing. I want to make everybody happy and put on a good show. Talk to a couple fighters out here that are like that have been, you know, exclusively New Mexico, and they're like, man, I kind of want to, I want to feel that. I can't wait till that that boo. What was that like? You know, that had to be something in Kansas City with their guy. Um, like I said, you know, I just try to focus on the fight. I, I don't think of too many outside issues, I guess. Um, I just try to focus, uh, like, to get tunnel vision as much as possible. Because other things like that might break a person down and don't put too much pressure on you. Just now, so. um, I heard the boos, but, you know, after that they were cheering for me. They put on a good show, so. And then, for someone coming up through boxing's levels right now, seeing the explosion of PBC and all this extra exposure right now, and boxing's really hitting a high point, what does that mean for you and what do you think of it? It just hopefully opens even more doors for me in the future because more people are getting into boxing and hopefully build an even bigger fan base, put, uh, fight in front of more people. So it's great. It just it opens a ton of possibilities. But we'll see as we get there. Got a message for the fans that will come out on support? Uh, yeah, like I keep saying over and over, I want to put on a great show for you guys. I'm training as hard as I can. Uh, just come out and you will not regret it. And then, who do you need to shout out to? Sponsors, people, who do you need to thank? Uh, my manager, Cameron Duncan, my, my whole team here at Trisco Boxing, uh, Empire Boxing, uh, just everybody, anyone. Oh, Duke City CrossFit, of course, help me get uh, strength and conditioning. Um, just everybody that's shown any support, I, I truly appreciate it. Thank you. September 5th, Buffalo Thunder Casino. Come out. Great night of boxing. Brian Mendoza, thank you for the time.